Hi folks and welcome back to our Terra Firma Craft TNG series. Much as I'd like to head out and start mining more copper and making us more copper tools, we really need to uh, get a farm started. If you look at the date, the in-game date of course, you can see it's June 6th of early summer. I th summer ends either on the 8th or the, I'm sorry, early summer ends on either the 8th or the 10th and then we're into midsummer. So, you know, time is ticking away and some of the crops take a long time to grow. So we should start trying to get stuff into the ground. We already have some seeds here, so let's work on them first. Oh, actually I should eat first. Well, we've got five days left on the tomato. All right, that's, we'll eat that next. So if we look here, you can see that my vegetable, fruit, and grain are all at the same level, and I'm about to eat a vegetable, so let's... Huh. So my max hit points went down to 843. They were at 850. I ate some food and they went down. That makes no sense at all, but let's see what happened here. Yeah, you can see that the my vegetable bar is now higher than the grain and the fruit. I don't know why my max points went down. There must be a bug in that. But in any case, at least now I've had some veggies, which these two is going to decay first. Five days, 11 days. Oh, I have to cook it before. <laughs> eh, let's not do that. All right. Do I have a uh, fire starter? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's cook that meat. And then let's put some stuff away. Oh yeah, the door, the door won't go in the chest, but we can get rid of it. I'll just put it up against one of the walls here. There we go. The door to nowhere. And I can eat a bit of this. And this should be ready now. Yep. This is seven days. This is 11 days. So that'll be the next thing we eat. Okay. Check to see if we have any berries. No. Uh, this is something else I need to do. Do I have any dirt on me? I do not. All right. Let's come and get some here. Okay, so you see this cloud berry over here, it's fine, I can walk through it, it slows me down a bit, it's no problem. But if I try to walk through the blackberry, it damages me, because some of the berries have thorns, of course. So what we're going to do, since I don't like getting damaged, is we're going to put it on a pedestal. There, now it won't hurt us. Okay, um, oh, yeah. I want to start off, start the farm over here, so we're going to need to chop some stuff down. Now one of the things that TFC is pretty good about is that as things start to get tedious, I mean they start out tedious, but it's all new, right? And so you're, wow, I, I just built this stone axe and I can chop a tree down. And after your fourth or fortieth or four hundredth tree, it gets a little uh, a little dull uh, but when we go to a copper axe you'll see that the copper axe takes the trees down faster and then when we go up to a bronze axe it goes even faster and so on so TFC is pretty good about you know as things start to get kind of grindy or draggy Uh, giving you an upgrade in tech that lets them go faster. Um, let's take that there. And yeah, let's take these two out here. And I'm going to need a bit more dirt because I like to have a very orderly 
very orderly farm. So let's clean up the edges here. There we go. And let's get some of this stuff out of my inventory. Let's bring these oat seeds down, and the barley, and the tomato, and we're gonna need a hoe. Okay, so this is the pattern for a hoe, or for a hoe head, I think, right? And as usual, we need a stick for a sh shaft. We're giving the hoe the shaft. And we'll start with the oats. Oops. And I guess we'll do the barley next. And the tomatoes. There we go. Start to our farm. And because I have the memory of a mosquito, I'll have to do something else here too. Come over here, take these maple logs and chop them up into lumber. Now this is one change from old TFC to uh, TNG that I don't like. It used to be that you could make signs out of these lumber uh, lumber blocks or lumber items, whatever you want, however you want to refer to them. So you could just make a sign like that, but you can't anymore. Now they've changed it. You have to actually use plank blocks. So I have to turn that into plank blocks. So signs are more expensive than they used to be. And I use signs in the farm because a lot of the uh, crops you until they're fully grown, you can't tell what they are. And I, of course, never remember what it was I put in the ground, so. Oh, I want those further back. Yeah, I don't recall if this is a thing in uh, regular Minecraft or not. But in TFC, water only saturates uh, dirt blocks up to four squares away. Four blocks away from the water. So that's why I'm putting these signs out here at the fifth block. To allow me room. If I find more seeds for these guys to get up to four blocks. Okay. Anything else I need to do here? Yes, I need to throw those reeds away. And... A couple more things to toss. The hoe can go in there. Bring this knife back out. I really should have another axe since we're about to go off into the scary woods full of ravenous predators. Oh, a fresh axe. Uh, oh yeah, this chisel mold that we have, I could put it in the chest, but the other thing I can do with it is just go over here and stick it on the ground. Save the room on the chest. Okay. So at the end of the previous episode, checked out the fruit tree. <clears throat> uh, we didn't have enough time to check out anything else. So we're going to finish checking out all these crops uh, to see whether any of them have matured to the point where we can start using them. So to that end, off we go.
quick enough. Ah, <laughs> uh, that insult injury. Okay, two days. Two days I spent searching for clay, and here's some right on our doorstep. Great. Yet more on our doorstep, I should say. Um, can I get up here? Yeah, I can get up here. I'll have to do a little engineering, but I can make it up. Okay. I don't expect that the fruit tree has borne any fruit yet, but we'll check it out since we got to go this way anyway. And indeed, it's still just in flower. So let's go check out this other guy here. This unlabeled crop. Well, it's got a label, it's just it's generically labeled as crop. Oh, okay, see, it's getting close. Getting close because we have the green peppers there. Oh, and even better, one of them has a, uh, has ripened up here. Oh, so now we know what it is. It's a yellow pepper. So I can update that. And we get not only the pepper, but the seeds, which we can then plant and further expand our farm. I guess I should move some of these uh, weapons down to where I can actually use them. All right. Well, I did have it labeled as a pepper, but now I can label it as a yellow pepper and give it something other than a generic C. Okay, so next up are these oats, I guess. I can't go up that way. Lots of wolves. I'm perfectly happy with wolves. As long as I leave them alone, they leave me alone. Oh yeah, this is my spawn area, isn't it? Because there's that deer... Deer that's still trapped there. You know, we should do something about that. I mean, look at the suffering on his face. No water, no food. Poor thing. Let's put him out of his misery. Whoops. Right, axe died. There we go. It was a humane thing to do. And, ooh, yeah, humane and tasty. Six more venison. Uh, oh, yeah, they're up this way. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. This. This. Is Garnierite. Oh, that's nice. Hang on, I want to mark this. Okay, so it's not much use to us right now, uh, but Garnierite is the ore that we get nickel from. That was what it was here, I think. Oh yeah, look, there's lots of it over here. And it's typically really hard to find, because it only grows, I think, in, it grows. It only spawns in Gabbro, I think. Where, where are those oats over here? So at least we won't have to spend a bunch of grindy time branch mining to find that stuff. Oh yeah, we visited these oats not too long ago and already harvested some. Those are the oats we just planted back home. So this guy isn't ready yet, but while we're here, since we're here, 
let's check to see how rich this vein of copper is. Since it's right here. Okay. Um, so if you remember when we picked up those nuggets, they each had 10 units of copper. So this uh, ore from the vein has 25 units uh, each. Now there's, so that's just normal. There's also a poor vein, which would have 15, not much better than the nuggets. And there's a rich vein, uh, there, or there are rich veins, which can have 35. So when we finally get back to working on the copper, where am I headed next? Yeah, straight north. Then we'll check out all our various deposits and see if we can't find a rich one. Oh, there's another crop here. Since then we'll be able to like smelt more of it at a time. Um, I want to add the crop. Don't know what kind of crop, but it's a crop. Okay. Oh, oh, it's probably more, uh, probably more yellow peppers because we have some up here, right nearby, and these are ripe. So more food and more seeds. Oh, and there's more of them down here. Well, no, here's one here that's still green. But these over here are probably more of these beets. Okay, now I don't know if that's the final stage for these beets or not. So, it's time for a science experiment. That uh, doesn't look like it. No, I only got seeds, no beets. So that's still not its final form. So I guess it has to have to be taller than that. Yeah. All right, well, now I know. Where are we going next? Oh, the tomato plant. Yeah, we've already, we just looked at him yesterday, so the other uh, plants were nowhere near ready. So they still won't be ready today. Yeah, you can see they're, yeah, they haven't even fully come up the uh, their sticks yet. But that's fine. We'll grab them when they do. Okay. Let's head home and plant our seeds. Hi, Mr. Pheasant. And I can honestly say mister since that was a colorful male i don't is this a crop or a flower i don't actually know well let's flag it it looks like it could be maybe a squash a very very early form of the squash We'll see. <laughs> well, there's the female pheasant. A couple horses. Oh! We have a painted one. Or dappled. Well, one of them's painted and the other one's dappled. I don't remember how the toast terms work. Oh, we have a chestnut here. My gosh, all the favorites. Okay. Let's refill our water jug. And I might as well drink some more while I'm here. And I should eat some more too. Ten days till that expires. Eight days until the peppers expire. Oh, I got one pepper. Oh, I must have missed one. Oops. Okay, um, something to notice here. If I try and stack these on top of each other, I can't. 
and that's because this pepper expires on July 8th at 1.43 and this one's a little bit later it expires on July 8th at 7.43 so they have different expiry times so they're considered you know different items in that regard but I can put them together on my crafting table whoops why did that not work I'm supposed to be able to put them together on my crafting table. Hmm, that's a bug. Oh no, I see what it did. Yeah, but it's still that's a bug. Okay. Um, so now you'll see that I can combine them in stack of three, but they have the nearest decay. So this only makes sense if they're if you're putting together two stacks that are their expiry dates are pretty close together, but if you have one that like expires in one day and the other one doesn't expire for five days, you don't want to do it because then they'll all end up with a one day expiry. Okay, eight days is compared to ten is still sh shorter. I need to cook my venison at some point, but first let's go pick up our hoe. Oh, and I'm going to need more signs. How many? Two more signs. Okay. Oops. There we go. More shinage. And I need the hoe. Okay. So what do we want to do first? Let's do the yellow peppers. And then we can do the beets. The beat, since I only have one. Okay. Cool. Our farm is growing. Put this away. Put the whole way. Oh, we got some bones we can get rid of. Raw hide. We can deal with the hide and soon we have everything we need but right now i'm focused on this getting this farm done well getting it started okay don't need that oh actually i've still got a this vessel still full of stuff too which doesn't need to be here so we can put that away in our chest as well and that way, if our inventory starts to get full while we're wandering about, we can put some of it into the vessel. Free up some space. Okay, let's go look at these other guys up here, which is going to be the maize, squash, and some unknown grain. Yeah, we were over here not too long ago. I guess it's two days now. That uh, could be long enough for some of this stuff to have ripened. We'll see. I think these things slow me down, so let's get rid of them. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be algae. You should look sometimes to see if there's something you can do with it. Probably gives you a die. Everything gives you a die in this game. the maze is ripened. This is really nice. Cool. Alright. That one still hasn't. This one has. Yeah, the nice thing about TFC 
or rather the nice thing about maize and TFC is that you can eat it raw, like eat it off the cob. Now in the old TFC, I don't think that was true of the other grains, but if I remember correctly, you now can eat the other grains raw too, but they don't give you as much nutrition. Oh, you can't eat it. Okay, they've changed that too. Can't eat corn straight off the cob. I may have to shuck it first. Let's just have a look here. Maize green. Okay, so all right, maize is no longer superior to the other greens in that way. So now all the greens. I don't like that. I li I liked it when maize was special. But now it looks like all the grains are the same. You can eat them in their grain form, but you don't get very much out of it, just a 2% saturation. So you get a whole lot more if you make it into bread. All right, where's our next crop? Squash, there it is. On to the squash we go. That is one thing I've noticed with the TNG is they took a lot of the special behaviors and genericized them. And for some of them that's good. Like there's there were way too many special interfaces for different kinds of tools and that, so I, I appreciate that, but sometimes but some of them like here making the maze work like exactly like all the other greens is just kind of takes some of the flavor of the game so i can't tell is that ready there's another one over here okay yeah you can see a difference right this has got a nice full blob of yellow in it but if we come over to this guy he's not as yellow so this guy is not ready yet but I'm guessing that this guy is. I can't imagine it would get any more yellow. So let's see. Yep. Yep, he's ripe. Excellent. So now we can have some squash. Any others around here that are ripe? It's just that guy there. There's usually at least three. Really? That's the only other one? Hmm. Okay. Oh, no, there's one down here. Okay, there we go. Like I said, usually these three. Yeah, you see, this one's got even less yellow on it. So, All right, what's our last stop on our vegetable parade? Is that green to the northwest? Up there, 112 meters, okay. or 112 blocks. Actually, meters is right. The blocks are one meter cubes, so the units are interchangeable. A big ravine. All right. Oh, there it is over there. Oh, it has ripened. Good. Uh, so this is wheat. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but to harvest these things, you just hold down uh, with the left with the left mouse key basically just hit the ground that they're on until they pop up. So this one isn't ready yet. There's probably another one around somewhere. Oh yes, yeah, there's another one down here. And it's further along, but it's not ripe yet. Still, that's that's a good haul. And where do we want to go to? We want to come back here to home. Oh, not a horse. Default. And there's home. Let's 
So I'll probably just uh, time-lapse this or fade it out because there's nothing else that's really going to happen. I'll bring you in if I do find something interesting. Oh! <laughs> Alright, well here we are, something interesting. So these are either onions or garlic. They both look very similar. Where's the first one? Ah, oh, here it is. And I can tell this one's ripe because... Well, let's get the right angle on it. Is it ripe? Yeah, because it's got one, two, three on each of its little wings, because you look and it's like, you know, oops, it's got like four wings, and on each wing there are three pixels that are colored yellow. If you come over here, this guy's only got one. And where's the other guy? There's the other one. There's a third one we just saw. Him. Ah, here he's right here. And he's only got one. So at three, they're ripe. I better not be wrong about this. So let's pull this guy. Yep. And it's onions. Oh, we got two onions for that. Awesome. So let's mark these guys. And onions are really nice, because onions and garlic are like the f among the fastest growing crops. So we'll get the this onion we've, we've got, because we only got the one seed, one onion seed, right? Yep. It'll, uh, <laughs> trying to do too many things at once here. Oh. It'll take, I don't know, three or four days, I think is all it takes. I may be misremembering that, but I think that's right. And then, of course, we'll be able to harvest it and get seeds from it and then plant it again. So we'll, before winter rise, we should be able to get several, several harvests of the onions, or at this point, of the onion. But those other ones, the same deals, and we'll come back in a couple of days, and those ones back there will be right. So we'll be able to pick them up, too. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay. Let's throw some more stuff. We need another chest. And we're going to need some more signage. Ah, rain. I'd like to say it's good for the crops, but I don't think that actually matters in this game. Well, I mean, if you have some... If you have a piece of tilled soil that isn't within range of some standing water, then rain will uh, soak it and allow stuff to grow for at least a day. But that's a pretty slow way to get a crop to come in. Ah, well, okay. I did... <laughs> I made it out of a different wood than the first chest, so they don't combine into a double chest. Let's take all the food-related stuff out of here. And put it over here. Look at those onions, eh? 43 days. <laughs> uh, they'll last a long time, that's good. All right. Uh, I need more signs. Four signs should be enough. The hoe, get it down here. Get all of our various seeds down here. And let's go a planting. Alright, um, there's five squash, so let's do those first.
And then we have one of everything else, so we can just stick them down. Sort of willy nilly. Two signs, one, two, three, four. And this was squash? No, okay. Yeah. I mislabeled the other one. This is wheat. And this over here should have been not squash, but yellow pepper. See, and that's why I need signs. My memory is terrible. Okay. Well, I think that's enough for this episode. And we're off to a great start with the farm. Uh, we managed to look in on all of our crops. Actually found a couple more. The onions are a really, really good find. So with that in hand, then uh, we can go back to some metallurgy in the next episode, finish making more tools. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and you'll come back for the next one. Bye now.